Hello guys, welcome to another Power Factory Textiling tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at the analysis of low voltage distribution network system. So firstly, we should activate the steady case of LV load flow. And then take a simple load flow calculation. And make sure that the option consider coincidence of low voltage loads are selected. From the output window, we can see that the load flow calculation is successful. But we cannot see the results. To see the results from the output calculation analysis, select grid summary, then execute it. Now you can see the results of load flow for 11 kilo system, 33 kilo system, and 400 volt system. If we return back to the line diagram and from the diagram coloring, click on other and make sure that the results and voltage slash load is selected. Click OK. Then turn on the color legend block. We will notice different color for the range of voltage and loadings. If we zoom a part of our system and right click on one of these overloaded line, then click on create additional result box. We will see the amount of active power, reactive power and apparent power. To see the rate of overloading, right click on this result box, select edit format, then create up in rows, double click. From the calculation parameter, select loading. Click OK. Now you can see the percentage of loading. Now I want to increase our loads to see how that can affect on overloading of transmission lines. From the load flow icon, select load slash generation scaling, then increase the loads two times. So change the loads scaling factor to 200 and execute it. We notice that the number of read lines are increased and our network system is getting worse. Therefore, we have to find possibilities that consider the rate of consuming and generating of power in our network system. So we need to define a characteristic for our loads and generators. From the edit relevant object for calculation, click on parameter characteristic. You will see daily domestic profile, daily professional profile, and PV daily characteristic. If we double click on daily domestic profile, you will notice the profile consuming power during 24 hours. There are three peaks occurring during 9 a.m., 2 p.m., and 8 p.m. And there is also a very less consuming power happening during 2 and 6 a.m. So we can define this profile for our loads. If we enter to any load of our system, from the scaling factor, select Add Project Characteristics, then create a profile characteristics for your load and from this part you can define characteristics but for these loads characteristics is already defined as you can see the daily professional profile during 24 hours 
from here you can select number of customers and utilization factor we can define these characteristics for our generators as well as an example let's open one of these photovoltaic generators select load flow and from active power add the project characteristics then select profile characteristics for the elements of this network system the characteristics were already defined let us check the characteristics of this PV system as you see the rate of power is zero during night and it reaches its peak value during 10 a.m. and 18 p.m. and the range of time should be defined in a study case and operation scenarios according to that time the rate of our PV system will be defined to make it more clear let's take a load flow calculation for different study time double click on set steady time and change the hour to 2 and make sure that the ignore time trigger should be disabled click ok let us create a result box for one of these photovoltaic and load then take a simple load flow calculation we notice that the rate of our real power is zero for this pv system since we don't have any sun energy at 2 am night and you can also see the consuming of power by this load If we change the steady time to 7 a.m. morning and take the load flow calculation, you will notice that the rate power of PV system is not zero. And you can also notice the amount of power consumption. If we change it to 13 p.m., The PV system will reach to its maximum power and the consuming power is also changing. So, by using this technique, we can define the generating and consuming power in our network system. One of the other tools that can be used in analyzing and modeling of power network system is load scaling. And I will talk about this tool in the next video. In order not to miss the next video, please don't forget to subscribe.